Hey guys, JNM here with an update for the free fast calf add-on. I added the feature to create baffled curves with two clicks. Let's see this in Blender 2.82. I press the N key to open the fast calf panel. And here are the primitive types, but when I select the new one, curves, you don't have the other options because you will see this in a moment, it's a different kind of object. I go to primitive mode, press Ctrl and left click to add the first point, the same action again and bam, here is your curve aligned perpendicular to the faces that we hit. And you can do this for other faces as well and if you like, you can just right click, subdivide, select the control point, rotate, scale, move it around. It's really simple, a bit addictive, it's really hard to stop clicking. Okay, anyway, after you created the curve, you can do everything that you can do with curves. You can scale them, select the control point, press Alt and S and move the mouse to scale. And now let's add another object, for example, an icosphere. And then control click the first one, then the second one. And here is your curve connecting these two objects. And you can do this as often as you like. But you don't have to hit an object to create the curve. The first point I set here to the sphere and then I click somewhere in the viewport to set the second point. Then I scale up the first point a bit. And rotate and move the second point. Then I right click and convert this curve to a mesh. Like so, select this edge loop and press F to fill. And then I can select these two objects and join them by pressing Ctrl and J. Because I want to turn this now into an object that I can sculpt with, so I go to Sculpt mode and to the Voxel Remesher, set a high voxel size and press Remesh. Okay, and now look at this. I smooth this out a bit and then I select the Inflate brush, for example, and use this new curve, mesh, horn, whatever, for sculpting. All right, so let's have a look at the Python code that makes this possible. The add-on is in version 0.9.8.2, and this is the init file where I added a new primitive type named curve. When adding a new primitive, you have to add a new class, a new shape. This is a curve shape derived from the class shape, and in this I have a list with normals. These are the normals for the faces that we hit for the start and the end point of the curve. I need these to align the curve perpendicular to the faces that we hit and I set this to be a non-connected shape. I will explain this in a moment. We have a start point and an end point that are stored as vertices, like the other objects have as well, but these vertices are not connected. So it's different than, for example, a rectangle or a circle. These are the getters for the normals and here we have the handle mouse press method that is called when the left mouse button is pressed and in this I check if we hit an object with the mouse cursor and store the normal and the hit point so that I have a direction which is the normal to align the handles of the curve that we create later on so that it is perpendicular to the face that we hit. Okay, then I store the vertices for the mouse positions and the normals. And the method is called in the primitive mode operator. And when this method returns true, I know the shape is created and I have to create an object for the shape. If it is a connected shape, for example a circle or a rectangle, I have to create a mesh and in the other case I create a curve at the moment. Here I added a to-do for refactoring. To make this code more extendable, as a design pattern you can think of a factory for example. Okay, now here's the method create curve, which is pretty simple. First I use this function to create a Bezier curve and then I have some static parameters. I think I will make this configurable in a future version. To have a beveled curve by default I set the fill mode to full and the bevel depth to 0.05. As I already said, this should be configurable by the user. Okay, and then I get the spline and the points for the Bezier curve. I just need the start and the end point. 
Because I have to add the normals, the directions, to the control points of the start and end point of the curve to align the handles along the normals that we stored for the curve. And this makes it possible to just click an object and then align the handle for the curve that is created then perpendicular to the face that we hit for this object. Alright guys, that's it again. The add-on is free. The link is added to the description below. And if you'd like to support the development, then consider being my patron. This really helps a lot. So if you like the video and my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support, and I see you on JNM.